rocks in this shit. Hello. Albert here reporting for duty. We have Steve in here. We're, we're gonna do a little motor process. You didn't know his name's Albert. Lines, What's with Albert? Is that his actual name? Yeah. It's your actual, I thought it was AJ. Albert Joseph. Oh, oh! I didn't know that either. I, I'm calling it uh, Albert now. Yeah. I call him yeah. AJ because that's what I thought no, his no. name was. Call me Albert. I, that's, Albert. With the Australian accent. That sounds, uh, this sounds like a geek name to be honest. Of course. I never have met a motocross rider with the name Albert. You no. think I'm the, Never. Just, that sounds like a guy who sits in the office all day. For sure. Hates their life 24-7 yeah. and goes home to a yelling <laughs> wife. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay we're going to do a little pri private lesson here. I haven't done one of these episodes in a long time. Time. So we're gonna get Jet's advice, um, a little bit of my advice. I'm gonna have Steven hit this corner with zero instruction, a couple times through, and then we're just gonna tweak some things. You, cool. You okay with that? Yeah. Which line you want me hitting? Uh, the one right where Jet's standing. Okay. So this is a, I wouldn't consider this a deep rut, but it's a long rut. And the tricky part about this is at the end, it starts to give way just a little bit. I'll talk about why that's a big factor here in a second. Um, Jet's gonna do some rock removal. Yep. Thanks, Jet. <laughs> and yeah, no instruction at first. Hit it how you normally would. Kay. Don't feel the need to go balls just, to the wall. Just do it. Do it, do it how I've been just doing it. Do it how you normally would. Like one of those big potatoes. <laughs> Watching it. He's yeah, like, I was gonna oh, say. Yeah, He's been watching my video. Something's yeah. fishy here. Something's fishy. <laughs> that is definitely not how he hits it on the lap. <laughs> so. Okay, well, pretty good. Tell me what I need. No, pretty good. Okay. Um, do you typically ride with both feet on, or were you just pulling um, out the old I don't know. AJ technique I there? Just. Oh, did I not take my foot off on that one? Not at all. You stand super deep. Okay. I don't know. I just do whatever feels right. Sometimes I do. If I have like a, I think if I have a smoother corner entry with a little more momentum, I, I can just kind of get through it without even taking my foot off. But I don't know. Whatever feels right. I just Okay. Do so two things. Jet had one of them in his head too. Okay. You're a little far back. I think okay. even when you stand, you're a little far back. You okay. know that long flap? How your front wheel kind of came up a bit? That's just because the standing, the standing's not bad, but it's because you're a bit far back. I think when in a turn when you're standing, you kind of want to keep your head over the bar pad okay. to really keep that front wheel in and have some weight on it. Be more like here. Okay. And then when you would go to sit, you were sitting just slightly too far back as well. But I feel like if I'm transitioning my head more forward, then I kind of end up scooting back because I'm like. Well, when you're standing, for sure. When you're standing, head should be here, like over exaggerate, getting that head forward. And then when you go to sit, the butt comes more forward and the head will instantly come back. So this yeah. is the big thing. If I could, that was, all of those passes were good. And this is the one thing I, I actually will say that Jet and his brother do better than anybody in the 250 class. That's why I say that they're gonna be so fast when they get to 450s. From the waist up, when they hit a corner, they don't move. So Jet and Hunter, like when they sit down, they almost look like robots, like right like this. They do not ever fall inside or outside of the corner. When you ride, your elbows are dropped just a hair. So when you go through the corner, you look yeah. like you're kind of just Rhyming. constantly just little bit. Which ultimately would just make you a little bit inconsistent. Yeah. The reason why, I mean, look at every other rookie ever really they usually end up on their head more often than not the reason jet doesn't but you don't you're wicked consistent you're super cross yeah <laughs> maybe a little bit but you're he's so consistent in the corners because he's tight here he and strong with his core and he keeps the elbows up and just stays like this no matter what so when the bike messes up he keeps it here as opposed to here okay and you could see it, like when your transition from standing to sitting, you would immediately look just a little bit uneasy. You're complaining about the exit of the rut, which yeah. that's really where you would feel it, right? Yeah. Especially on a right-hander, you would twist the throttle and fall inside of it. And standing up through the majority of, majority of this corner, right? That's how I mean, I, I, mean I, he probably wouldn't, where would you sit for this corner, Jeff? I would sit somewhere probably. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, see, I wouldn't. See, I, only I'm I standing though because I'm obviously I'm le I'll be a lot lent over more because okay. I'm coming in with a lot more speed, and I want to keep 
the main goal on this thing is I'll be wanting to try and keep my front wheel in. Because like, it's not a proper run, you know, the front wheel really easily right up it. So I'm really trying to keep that down, which I'll probably put my leg out. I would sit more up here and probably have my leg out just a little more close to here. Just to make sure I keep that wheel in. Yeah. Let me let me go do one. Yeah, I'll watch Jack, you. Give me Think yeah. upper body stability because your footwork seemed pretty good. Also, I, not to throw too much stuff at you, were you hitting your rear brake coming up into this turn? I don't think so. Okay, don't. Yeah. I, I don't know usually don't try to touch my rear brake. Just front brake. Yeah, I came up the hill and then just would use the front brake front once brake. I got in the road. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I was using it at all. Okay, good. Um, especially because I wasn't sitting down. If I'm standing up, I don't really can't really get yeah, in. Just it. think upper body stability. You yeah. notice how like I look very stable, and then when I go to sit, yeah. So I'm just squared up. I guess the main takeaways for what you're saying, I need to be um, a little more forward on the bike. Yeah, like one inch. Chin, chin more over the bars when you're standing. When I'm standing, and then a tighter core, elbows, elbows up, and try to not kind of um, lose composure as much. Try to hold and my. One thing, keep keep your hips loose because yeah. if you have them too locked, when the bike goes, you're gonna go with it. Okay. Elbow. Yeah. He lent. He went to go do the head thing, but he went in a bit, and then the, just to put too much weight on the right side of the uh, bike. Right where that tree is, it's that last 10% of the corner. Uh -huh. Your inside elbow drops and your head yeah. falls. Instead of holding the grip up against the grip donut, you need to try to open your grip up, create the triangle right there, and yeah. that will pop how, your elbows up. How do you up. grip it? Like, show us how you grip it. You grip it this. Yeah. Yeah. If you rotate, rotate it out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. When you do push ups, you got like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you I do, want yeah. to do the same because you want to use this fatter part. See how my, even though my hands are dirty, but see I got, I got calluses. Yeah. Mainly on the outside here, none here. Yep. Because this part's barely gripping at all. It's okay. mainly these. That's and, a new one. Because I have never had arm in my life. Like, and I, I can say that with confidence. Yeah. I don't. I'm not. You're not Right is death grip it, yeah. and you're using more forearm strength and wrist strength. Okay. Where when you have it like this, you can kind of lock your wrist, and you don't have to like grip it so much to keep your hand there, kind of thing. Yeah. And obviously doing that, that that will automatically turn your hands from uh, your elbows from here to here, from this twist in your sit wrist forward down. one inch. Now put your grip, put your hands all the way up here, and now just where do your elbows naturally lie? Kind of. Let them just naturally lie. Yeah. By your side. Yeah, yeah okay. Right? Now do the grip Jet's talking about. Rotate your hand out. Ah, uh, yeah. So pops they kind the of. elbows out automatically. Yeah, yeah. They kind Got of. It. Automatically. It's like. The main thing I'm going to be focused on with this one is just tight core through here, right? Yeah. Through my last section. Because is, is it my right arm kind of yeah. dropping? Big time. Okay. And you'll see it in the video. Okay. to sit he sits from where he's standing right right he not he needs when he goes to sit he needs to kind of come forward more. you know what helped him though those last few that he did he went up to third oh yeah which i bet you that last one was third uh the third to me looked 100 times more smooth it was smoother yeah i know it sounds well, like you're going slow but that's kind of my ammo better when you followed aj yeah one, everything's looking better Except but still here when you st wherever you're standing you're just sitting straight down from there but when you go to sit you need to come just a bit more further forward because here ah. it's obviously you're getting harder on the gas so it's making that front wheel light and that's why those few times your front wheel went kind of went ah. out so if you sit a bit further like this 
When you go to sit, just sit a bit more further forwards, and it'll okay. keep that front more in check. Okay. It's a, it's an over exaggerated movement. But I'm gonna go through in slow motion this time. Watch my standing position with how far back my butt is, and then watch when I go to sit. Even was a little tipped in, but because he and sat down and that front stayed planted, it, this, it still was fine. But he didn't let it take its head either. No, you know no. You I mean? saw it for a second? <laughs> Mission Good. accomplished. Seemed like, better. Was that? Nice. A lot better. That looked a lot better. I had way more control exiting. Yeah. It looked 10 no, times I see. better. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like that kind of, you step through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did that, it, the first time you did it, 10 times better. This yeah. looked so much nicer. Smoother. Yeah. I think when you're on the back of the bike, it just leaves more control in or the more room more, for the bike to move. Has a lot more uh, run up time to mess up. And with, too you'd light say. on the front yeah. end. Yeah, I felt a lot better. I did a couple with the foot out and then tried keeping my foot on. They both felt good. They both look good upper body. You're stabilizing. If you made yeah. mistakes, you didn't totally give up on it and fall yeah, away. Yeah. And I also think third gear helped out a lot. Third gear, yeah, I, I hit mean, all those in third. Like you weren't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just super, super smooth. smooth yeah. Yeah, yeah, smooth and rolling versus kind of choppy. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful. heck yeah. Thanks, AJ. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, Jay. You're the man. All right. Private lesson with Albert complete. <laughs> Albert. <laughs> I'll be taking my cut later, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, subscribe to the Moto Academy. Subscribe to Jet Lawrence's YouTube channel that doesn't exist. More and importantly, subscribe to what's your YouTube channel? Steven Nimberg. First and last name, Steven Nimberg. That's it. Well, how many? You have a lot of subscribers. Yeah, I've got like 50,000. Holy That's heck. Good. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. It's just subscribe more to me first. Dog. Don't let him catch me. You can subscribe to him. Don't let him catch me. Heck yeah. All right. Yeah, check All right, it guys. out. Do it.